today we'll discuss why local anesthetics local anesthetics are not effective in presence of inflammation why local anesthetics are not effective in presence of inflammation so what happens if there is inflammation inflamed tissue if there is a presence of inflamed tissue there is a dilatation of the blood vessels local vasodilatation so because of that washing out of local anesthetic what happens if there is a presence of inflammation or inflamed tissue and that because of that inflammation there is a local vasodilatation or dilated blood vessels in that particular area and because of that dilated blood vessels in that particular area and because of that all the local anesthetic is washed out or expelled out from that particular area that's why it is not effective now second thing in presence of inflammation there is a decrease ph of affected tissue there is a decrease ph of a affected tissue and because of the decrease ph there is a more ionization of the local anesthetics more ionization of the local anesthetics means basically local anesthetics are basic drugs they are basic in nature so they will get more ionized because there is a decrease ph of affected tissue and because of that more ionization they will become charged they will become ionized so less amount or less fraction can enter into the neuron to exert its action they will become more ionized they will become more polar local anesthetics they will become more polar why because ph of the affected tissue, uh, tissue is decreased so less amount can enter into the neuron to exert its action now the third thing in presence of inflammation there is a release of inflammatory mediators there is a release of inflammatory mediators and these inflammatory mediators like histamine prostaglandin they will interfere with the action of local anesthetics and because of all these reasons local anesthetics are not effective in presence of inflammation 